Welcome to lesson six of our um, GUI Hangman tutorial series. So when we left off in the last one, we had just got our letter A working. So I can come up here and I can check whether A works. Now, what I want to do is once I see all this, I need to actually now have it check, not just whether it's in the word, I need to get it to check if we've actually reached the end of game conditions, if there's been a win or a loss. So let's first off check for the win come down here remember if the if we click the letter button it passes the actual button in it gets the value of that button whatever it is the text in it was a b c etc um, puts it makes it lower puts it in the guess um, no longer need to have that in there we then um, we then uh, enable disable the actual button so it's no longer um, false um, so it's no longer actually usable they can't actually click it anymore we then come down here and we check if the guess is in the word if it is in the word we will display it if it's not in the word we will increase the value of um, the misses which increases in turn increases the gallows so in here we are going to go through and we are going to check for a win so how do we know if there's a win well we know if there's a win if there is no dashes left in our guest word, i.e. that we've guessed all the letters in that word. So if, actually I'm gonna put in here, check for win. So if underscore, if underscore is not in self, so the actual list here, if there's no underscores in the list here, then we were going to change. Now I've got another little label in here underneath the actual, um, in the user interface underneath the dashes which we can actually put the result up so we're going to change that at the moment it's just an empty string it's got no value in it whatsoever so we say ui result label text winner is winner yay you're winner and then i'm going to come down to the loser here that you've lost and i'm going to check for a loss okay i've increased the gallows now had on I've lost, well that means if misses hits 11, you've reached the end of your gallows. So there's 12 steps, starts at zero. So we say if misses equals zero, then it's going to say, basically it's gonna change it. We're gonna say the word was, and using an F string, we're gonna say the word was whatever the word was. Make it into an upper so they actually know what the word is so we're not teasing them as such. So let's run that, but I can't test it. Because if I test it, if I run it and test it, it's like, awesome, yeah, well, I've got A. Yeah, that's in there, but I, I've got no other letters to do. So what am I going to do? Well, this is the point where we're going to get there and we're going to now duplicate out this line for every other letter button in there. Now, for you guys, all you need to do is go copy and you bring it down here and you go paste and you change that from A to B and you change that from A to B, right? But I'm gonna save you having to sit there and watch me do that 24 more times. But you feel free, pause the actual program and do that yourself. And I've just added all those values in now. So we should now have them all working. Bang, let's pop up, see what comes up. Okay, let's try E. No, there's no E in there, let's try a. Okay, there's an A in there. Is there another vowel? Let's try O. Ooh. Um, let's try R, T. Oh, I reckon not. Uh, it looks um, N. Oh, what can actually be before an N? What have we got? I. Um, and Nish. Um, install installation there we are winner so I've got through and I've managed to get that so it's worked it says winner order new word oh that doesn't work because these are still all blanked out okay so I'm going to check I'm going to go and test the other one if I can actually fail it by going M and just clicking around and hopefully getting to the end Oh, geez, I'm uh, very close to getting that right. <laughs> and there we are. Oh, the word was limits. Okay, so I now know that 
both of them work the the end game of um, win and the end game of lose quit now I've got to solve that problem where all my buttons are um, all my buttons are disabled and if I go new word I can't actually um, solve that yet I can't actually go there so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna make a, a little program another little function here under before the slots actually before the signals to keep those two together and and this is just going to go through and it's going to change all the buttons right so it's going to change all the buttons buttons a b c through to z to whatever value i call right so if i call self yes there's repetition um but honestly i thought of this after i was too far down the track and it was going to be too difficult to go back and solve the problem in a less repetitive way so i've just got a function here which calls that and then what i can do when i say new word button what i want to change in here is i want to reset this so i've also reset um the all the buttons so to do that i'm going to say self dot and it's set button enabled and what I want to set it to I want to set this to true awesome so I've done that it's set to true awesome okay set button enabled to true is there anything else that I really need to do with that oh yep I need to also get rid of down the bottom here I also need to get rid of um, the winning statement down the bottom UI set text level right okay so I want to test this so what I'm gonna do to make life a little bit easier for testing I'm going to come up to here and say um, choose word and I'm just going to print word uh, to the terminal so I can cheat and get this to work so let's see and yep, there's one more little part that I want to add in as well too. Is if it comes up and says that you've actually um, you've failed to word the word, I don't want them to keep pressing the buttons. I want to disable all the buttons. And luckily, I've got a function which I can change the value of whether the the button is enabled. So I'm just going to say self dot set button enabled. But this one I want to be false. So all the buttons have set to false and they're disabled. Okay so let me see that should all work let's run that pops up here so what was the word the word is certified so let's just put that straight in and see if it works s e um, r t um, f i d winner awesome that worked that's great if i go new word now oh t t isn't undone why is that let's have a look um have i got t in here no i've missed t cool so that's why we test and let's run that again and see how this goes so this time i want to fail i want to lose oh actually i know what the word is i should just keep doing ones that aren't in section oh the word was sections if I go new word reset it's been reset and there we are we've got our fully functionally uh, functionally <laughs> fully functional um, GUI hangman program so that's a nice little framework have some fun see if you can change it around play with it add extra components to it extra features um, but that is all we need to do in relation to learning how to make a um, model view controller um, pi qt um, gui driven game or opera um, application in any kind of way okay thank you very much